the wing area. And this will just about beat players. No, kept in now. Chance for Collingwood through the agency of Noel Lovell. A high kick up towards the half forward line. Andrews spoiling from behind. Big Ronnie coming back into the fray after a holiday of some five weeks. Over the top goes Williams. And I think the free kick, in fact, it was Tony Beers has given away the free kick. So a chance for the Bombers. And it's Duckworth who receives the handball. Goes with a good looking drop punt up. Looking for Madden. Trying to do it from behind. Pushed over the back. Vanderhaar. The handball further forward for Watson. He flicks it on towards Hurd. Can't control it. Socket off the ground, though. And it was socket off by a Collingwood player. So one point over. Great crowd. Great atmosphere, Peter McKenna. Tremendous atmosphere, as usual. The, and the loyal Collingwood fans, even though they're down, coming out in their, their droves. In fact, there was some talk about the gates being closed uh, five minutes ago. There's Teasdale. Can't take the mark. Over the back of Stoneham. He, oh, oh, he copped a very high one. Pushed over the shoulder, said the umpire. And Alan Stoneham will take the free kick on centre wing. He immediately gives the hand pass across to Clark. Clark goes short towards centre half forward. Oh, strong play there by the Collingwood backman. And finally, it's Taylor kicking it down towards centre half forward. The ball thumped away, back to the centre of the ground. Going through as an ear. He gets bundled out of the way. Strong player. The player's very desperate. The umpire's picked out a free kick. And it will go to Collingwood through the agency of Lovell. Lovell with a hand pass over to Graham Allen and Allen streams towards the half forward line. He gets his kick in, down after he kicked it, no free kick and rightly so, towards the forward pocket, over the back of the packet comes and forced over the line and out of bounds. Throw in in Collingwood's left forward pocket. Essendon with one point on the board. As Peter said, a capacity crowd. Walsh could have just about given away the free kick on that occasion, taken over the line once again by Neil Clark who will be remembered for his sort of into the forward lines last week a gimme goal an Essendon victory Stoneham again and again over line as Stephen Carey sees it across ideal conditions only a very slight breeze Madden trying to do the work from behind looking for Carey once again hasn't been in good form of late but is starting to get back into it once again kicked off the ground by Noel Lovell and one point the result so scores tied away and a beautiful smother then too by uh, young Tony Beers playing a full forward uh, great effort by the young player because it's a very difficult thing to smother a ball here's the kick from Duckworth and he can certainly kick a ball and he's found Otway at centre half back he streams away onto the left foot he goes out wide but there's no one there for Essendon in fact uh, the lucky bounce came Copy. to copping in fact and on the left foot he goes back towards the half forward line and it is over the line and out of bounds on the full and Sandy that's the area of his play that he has to improve yes his kicking has certainly been letting him down in recent weeks the young Stephen here's Another South Australian in Michael Taylor up towards centre wing. No one able to complete the mark over the line once again. Another throw in. Madden lumbering across. Jostling for front spot. Eventually he does it from behind. Stolen by Dacos who goes with a high kick up towards the half forward line. This bounce it favours Shaw. Looks for the handball for the player going past. Now Williams in possession. A left foot snap. Walsh heading towards the boundary line. He'll pick it up inside it if he chooses to. Well, he just went over, says the boundary umpire. Walsh, he has a bit of a look and a chat. His question is answered. So a throw in to take place. Ten metres around from the behind post. A chance for Collingwood, seeing it's in their forward zone. Grabbed by Fellows. A left foot snap at the goal. And it has been marked by Clark just before a great effort by Clark just before it went over the boundary. Line. Good gutsy mark, Peter. Hand pass coming straight across the face of goal to Kerry. Kerry goes wide, looking for foals over the back of the pack. A race towards the boundary line and it beat both players. The Collingwood player there was Miles with foals and over the line out of bounds, almost on centre wing. The turf at Windy Hill in mint condition. Here's the throw in. Williams waiting at the back. Immediate opposition, however, takes it away up towards Stephen Copping. He can't take it. The high kick going back towards that half forward line, but again, it is Danaher who takes the mark. He plays on, heading play in towards oh. the centre, waiting at the back. Luckily, could be Shane Hurd. Gets the handball across. Stoneham's in trouble. So back to Big Ronnie. Kick it, Ronnie. He does, and listen to the crowd. Up towards half forward, man in front. Stewart caught too slow. Bahagia waiting. A hurried kick off the ground by Foles. Over the top, Vanderhaar, but the player in front. McCormack. And it will be taken by McCormack at centre-half back. 
good mark by Peter McCormack too because Van der Haar had the sit. There he goes, looking out towards centre wing and a good mark taken down there and it looks like Derek Shaw. Shaw swings onto the left foot, down towards centre half foot, a shocking kick on that occasion and the mark has been taken down there back the halfback flag by Terry Danaher. He goes towards centre wing. Over the back, it's Ricky Barron. Traps the ball. Beautiful hand pass out wide to John Anir. Anir goes long towards full forward. Walsh is there for Essen and he goes back. Can't take the mark and the umpire said there was a shove out and in fact it's Billy Duckworth to take the free kick at full back.